big mistakes at lapping length in the construction of plinth beam. Beam is designed for five-story commercial building. Size is 12 by 18 inches and span is 10 feet. Plinth beam is plinth level is already provided at the height of 18 inches. DPC is provided on the top of that with the thickness of 1 inch. You can see guys this is one column. That is other column. The span is 10 feet. If you see guys we have two bars at the bottom, three at the top. Dia is 16 millimeter. Depth is 12 inches. Width is 9 inches for this column. Now let me guide you for big mistakes. If you see guys we have two bars at the bottom which is one of the big mistake because this is tension zone upper portion is compression zone at compression zone we have three bars at the bottom portion which is tension zone we have two bars this is one of the big mistake and this is against of steel structure design rules regulation because in tension zone we should provide maximum numbers compared to its upper portion but they did opposite because compression zone is stronger than tension zone especially concrete is weak in tension so therefore we are providing extra bars at the bottom but it's strong in compression so therefore they did opposite of each other i don't know why they did this so this is one of the big mistake on the other side guys if you see they provided eight millimeter die of steel rod for the stirrups spacing is 10 inches so this is the second big mistake because at the distance of l by 4 the spacing should be closely for the stirrups because we have negative bending moment at the end of the beam to resist negative bending moment we are providing extra steel rods at the top portion at the bottom also we are providing maximum numbers compared to its upper portion of longitudinal bars next if you see the stirrups are provided at the spacing of 10 inches the first is placed at the distance of 6 inches. Everything is wrong here, guys. You can see clearly. And hooks are bent on 90 degree. It should be provided on 135 degrees. So the first step should be placed with the spacing of minimum 2 inches. If you calculate this or if you take its dimension, this is 6 inches. On the other side, guys, you can see the spacing is 10 feet. At the distance of 3 feet, the spacing should be closely. After that, at the middle side, you can increase the spacing of stirrups. Unfortunately, they did everything wrong. I know they did this design by a steel structure design because they don't have a side supervisor. They don't know about the steel structure design. They don't know about the structure load. They just did two bars at the bottom, three at the top. Size they did by yourself. They don't know. This is five-story commercial building. If you see, guys, this is about 10 inches. This is 11 inches. This is also 10 inches. Guys, you can see everything is wrong. On the other side, guys, if you see, uh, they didn't provide the development length because this is the corner column. At the end of the beam, development length is very important, but they didn't provide. They placed simply, as you can see here. So, guys, this is plain beam if you are working on construction sites. So, remember these technical terms, which I am discussing in this practical video for you people, if you are not on construction site because steel structure design is the bone of building if that is frame structure or if that is why not normal structure guys you can see the spacing is 10 feet okay if you see on the other side they provided lapping at the bottom portion at the distance of l by 4 look at here this is okay they provided but the hooks are bent on 90 degree it should be provided on 135 degree if you see this one is about six inches okay guys you can see they provided on 90 degree it should be provided on 135 degree and the length of the hooks should not be less than three inches for each hook and it should be provided alternately opposite of each other 
Look here, guys. They started the laping lathe at the distance of L by 4. Look here. This is the laping. This is not the place or you are not allowed to provide laping at the distance of L by 4. This is, this is tension zone, guys. In tension zone, laping is not allowed at the distance of L by 4. There we have more chances of cracks. To resist cracks, provide extra steel rods, but not laping length, guys, you can see. This is a short video, but very important for you people to know about the site supervision, the steel structure design, technical terms from ACI, IS, different codes, which we are referred to the structure design, guys, you can see. They are using here 40 grade steel rods. If you see the surfacing is not okay, and you can see everything is wrong here in this steel structure design. For commercial building, you should provide or you should purchase the 60 grade steel rods, not 40 grade. 40 grade we are normally using for a residential building. Look here guys, this is the middle or mid of this beam which is at the distance of 5 feet. So here we should not provide the leaping lid. Guys, you can see at upper portion which is compression zone you can provide. But unfortunately they don't know anything. They, they are just fixing the steel reinforcement inside the column beam. They are just making something. If you are working on construction site, so don't do these kind of mistakes which I am showing you in this practical video. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.